Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Nail Tarot. I'd like to thank everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to this, to this channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, please only take what resonates and, and leave the rest. It is for entertainment purposes only. Um, but if it does resonate with you, well, you know, that's that's good. But don't make the story fit, okay? Um, water signs. I have um, shuffled the cards and these are the cards that came out for you. So... On with the reading. Okay. Um, for some of you uh, water signs out there, that you are beginning a, a new cycle. Okay. Maybe if I put it there, you can see better. Maybe uh, you are beginning a new cycle. Okay. Uh, especially for Scorpio and Cancer. Um, because you are fixed signs. And you've got a um, the moon on the 27th, 28th of uh, April. Um that is um, going to make a lot of changes for you guys, okay? Um, but I'm reading for a collective, so um, Cancer, Can Scorpio and Pisces. Have new beginnings that are going to start, okay? And if I read what's on this card, it says everything has its right time. Honour the cycle of your body and uh, time and tune into the moon's magic. So... I think this full moon is really going to have a, a big effect on you, water signs. And um, I think you need to embrace the changes because I think everything is going to change. Okay. So your second half, um, you know, of, of the year going from April onwards really is um, there's going to be some changes made left, right and center. Some you'll be happy with and, and you know, Actually, a lot you'll be happy with and, and some that maybe you won't be, but it is part of your journey and you have to learn to to um, let go of your past and uh, start some new beginnings, which you do have the card of um, rebirth, okay? So reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams and create a new reality. So I think for some of you, you are going on, on this new journey um, trying out different things and um, things that are making you happy. Um, water signs are quite um, intuitive people. Um, so maybe you're going in the direction of using your intuition um, to help you guide you and to um, put you on the right path. And so listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide and trust your intuition no matter what happens, okay? And I think for um, a lot of you, your intuition is working overtime right now, okay? You may not be saying much, but you seem to know a lot, okay? Now, for some of you water signs, um, I feel that there are uh, things from your past that are returning, people from your past that are returning, and you have to decide who stays and who goes, okay? Now, um... Water signs, you know, you've had many past lives. You are an old soul and you are full of wisdom and um, you need to tune in with your higher power to to make decisions. Uh, a lot of you don't, don't speak up. You keep a lot to yourself and people can misunderstand you because you don't speak up. But according to this card, it says release your past life karma. You're an old soul. With deep wisdom healing your past life will raise your vibration okay now you know i i do feel water signs it's it's hard for you to let go of people from your past because you know even even if these people have hurt you um you somehow find a way to to forgive them and then they kind of like um stay in your life and you're okay with that as long as they don't interfere in your life anymore okay now, I feel for some of you water signs, there is a partnership that is coming your way or you've already met this person, okay? Um, but I feel that things are going to really take effect after April where signs are really going to show you whether you want to continue um, with this person or you want to let them go. I do feel that you feel that this person is your twin flame, okay? And I do feel that you and this per person yeah. have a lot of passion between you. All right. But 
you know, are you, you're wondering what else is there? What else is there between me and this person? Well, I can tell you what else is there between you and this person is that you and this person had a past life. Now, they're either in your life for unfinished business or they're in your life because they've been given a chance to make things right. And I think that's why you have um, you have kept them there because you do remember the passion. Something this person does sparks the passion in you, okay? And it brings back some memories that, um, you know, you wonder, it's all, you, you wonder, I know this person. You know, I've, I've been with this person before. It's like you know their next move. You know that what's going to come out of their mouth, okay? You, you you know them. I, I don't know how else to explain it other than from the day you met, you just knew each other. Okay? Um, yeah. That's giving me a, a funny feeling, but um, I do feel that this person, this partnership that you're going to be in, or you are already in, that you do feel... That you and this person have been together once before okay now i feel too that you're finding it hard to trust this person can you trust this person is a question that's always on your mind can i trust this person i feel you do trust them to a certain degree i don't feel that they're lying to you about about anything but your intuition's pretty good okay and um if you feel that there's another person around, you can guarantee that you're right. There's another person around. Okay? But you want to trust this person. You want to leap into the unknown. Okay? Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. All right? Now, if you're going to have trust in anybody, what a sign. You're going to have trust in yourself. Okay? And that's probably the best thing to do is trust yourself and not worry about whether you can trust this person or not okay all right now your next card is beloved all right now if I read the meaning of the card um I've got to say that I don't always go with the meaning of the card okay because I do work out of intuition so um some things will come to me along the way and um my mouth will just open up really <laughs> uh, okay the next card you have is beloved so uh, prepare for your life partner romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable all right i do feel that there's been a bit of distance between you and this person um you know that you feel that um your energies is, is sort of like drifting apart between you uh, but the passion is still there. It doesn't seem to be there as much as it was before, though. So I think you are having trouble um, with this trust because I know with water signs, they, they feel, okay? You feel, you guys feel it. You feel it in, in their kiss. You feel it in the touch. You feel it in, in many, many ways. And um, maybe you're not feeling it as, as much. And it's not because you're not the one giving passion it's more that this other person has pulled back their energy maybe um and you you because you you feel that if somebody pulls back their energy then you're going to pull back as well okay i feel that you and this person do mirror each other all right and i also feel that you are being very patient in this situation and you're trying to use your intuition all right and um you know I think you're poor, you are pausing before you take any action on this. You're waiting to see which way it's going to go. But I think your intuition is telling you that this is going to hurt you. Okay. But you're trying to have the trust to see the outcome of this. Okay. And water signs, you're, you're always like that. Before anything begins, you're always wondering where it's going to go, how it's going to end, how it's going to begin. Okay, you, you got to stop doing that and just go with the flow of things. Allow things to fall into place, okay? 
if this person is meant to be in your life, they're going to be there. Just like they were in the past, just like they will be in the future, and just like they are here in the present, okay? Unless you, you were together for unfinished business, well, that business is not finished yet, okay? Okay, what I do also feel is between you and this person, there is a good friendship, okay? There's balance in this situation. I don't think you put a lot of pressure on the, on this person, okay? I think when you two are together, it's 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 very relaxing. There's no pressure. There's no um, push and pull. There's no, you know, there is laughter. There is passion. There is also, um, there's also a boundary, you know. And if you and this person didn't have this boundary between you, I think this relationship would just soar. It would just soar. But there is lots of obstacles in the way of you and this person. And you don't know whether you can um, you can handle that. Okay. And I think for this person too is that they, they will probably continue what it is that they're doing. Maybe this person is already in a partnership. Okay. But I feel that, you know, it's 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 a burden, it's it's a headache that to leave this situation. Okay, so maybe they will just continue it to the best of their ability and this saddens you. You look at the face on this on this horse and it and it, it is very sad. It is very sad, okay. But I feel for you water signs that um, you are very balanced at the moment okay you need to take time to relax indulge a little more or less and set boundaries with your work too okay a lot of you have been working hard and trying to achieve something and and maybe grow something because you have growth here okay there is growth in your future there is growth in your endeavors okay um, I do feel for some of you that you need to seek out a mentor or a guide. Um, take baby steps as you grow. Um, be willing to learn from others. And I think I've got to say that you have learned a lot from this person. This person is very wise. And um, they have they have knowledge that you, um, you, you actually water signs love people with knowledge it's not the passion the passion you know you can have all right you know you can create but to to sit with a person that has knowledge really draws your attention that you want to listen a bit more but i also think that with this person uh water sign is that um you have something that you want to grow you have something that you want to do okay and I think you feel that with the help of this person, um, if you brought them into the picture, that um, you would have much more success because this person knows certain areas of what you want to do that you don't know much about it. And even if somebody explained it to you, you don't have the mental capacity really to, to just go into it right now. So I think you need somebody there by your side to to help you um, for the things that you don't know. Um, but there is balance and there is growth. And the next card you have is delight. Okay. The card says count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure with the simple things. Always expect um, always expect the best okay and I, th I think you do you you are seeing the best in every situation and even if you know that you and this person maybe um with all the blockages can't be together i think you just in enjoy your time with that person and um you know you just make make every moment count i think you know that um but in saying that okay um what you have next actually is rebirth, okay? 
reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams and create your new reality. And there is a new reality coming your way, water signs. There is something huge coming your way, okay? Um, I'm surprised I didn't get the card of uh, abundance and prosperity because that's what I'm feeling that is coming your way. But what's bigger than that, because you're not a materialistic, you do like the finer things in life, but you're not, you're not the go-getter in that area. Um, you're more for... Um, okay, if you have a home, it's security. I'm so sorry about the phone. I could have sworn I turned that phone off. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, so what are signs you... Um, Okay, you have, um, uh, I hate it when that happens. thought I got it right tonight. Anyway, what are signs you have, um, you have new beginnings that are coming your way, okay? I cannot tell you at this stage whether this person will be in your life or not. But what I can tell you is that there is a partnership, whether it's this person or not. And this person that's coming into your life is possibly a twin flame. You both hold the candle for each other. There is love between you, okay? You're both going in the same direction. You're both wanting the same thing. You're both very supportive to each other, okay? Um, there is a mirror-like image in this photo. And, um, you know, as I said before, I think that you and this person kind of mirror each other so I, I cannot be a hundred percent sure at this stage who this person is that's coming into your life but what I can tell you is that you will dance you will be happy okay you're gonna have reason to celebrate okay um, there's a lot of manifestation that's going on here and um, that manifestation is going to take take action after the full moon all right so what are signs um i do wish you well i'm so sorry for the interruption but um you have a great reading here just trust that everything is going to fall into place in divine timing and what will be will be you can't force these things to happen i feel that this person is carrying a heavy burden right now okay maybe that's why the energy has pulled back a little bit towards you or maybe they don't want to hurt you that's for a continuation of a reading otherwise it's going to go too long but i do wish you all the best and good luck to you in your new cycle and um yeah we'll see you next time water sign okay bye for now